guys. Oh my gosh. So it's like seven o'clock at night right now. I did not vlog at all today. So we're gonna do like a one hit wonder kind of thing. I filmed so much stuff today. I filmed, I think six. And it was actually kind of cool cause Paul had to go do stuff. And so he took Violet with her after he came home from work. And usually he doesn't, he leaves her with me. And it's hard to film videos when she's with me because she could be good or she could be you know, screaming, she's a baby, she's really unpredictable. So it was actually really awesome because I was able to get so much done and I was able to, I took photos of all of my Mac holiday stuff and I did swatches of some other collections and then I filmed reviews for it and a tutorial and then two other reviews and one, two, three, four, or five, and something else. I swear it was six videos, maybe I'm making that up, I don't know, but I feel like I was really productive today and I started cleaning up my makeup room and it just feels really good to get stuff done. Yeah, that was the majority of my day was just that. I think a good part of why I've been so productive is the other day I made cold brew coffee, which I'll show you. If you've never made cold brew, it's so easy and it's way more caffeinated than normal coffee. So this is my cold brew. I got this from Costco. So this, um, this container is from Costco and it's really cool because you could like, it doesn't spill but it came with these inserts and one of them was this so literally all you do is you fill this up to like here actually I filled it to the top but I don't think they're supposed to I think that's probably why this one's so freaking strong but just to here with ground coffee which I got some at Winco that's a vanilla cream flavor and it um it's ground I ground it at the store to a coarse grind put it in fill this up with water and then you put this in and you leave it overnight for 12 hours and then all you do is you take this out and this actually it twists onto the cap so then you just take this out and that's it so I had two cups of that today <laughs> and I think that that's probably why I was able to get so much stuff done too which is really nice um yeah and so now Paul's going to get us food because I like I was so busy today that I didn't really feel hungry so I didn't eat very much and then you know when you like don't think about eating and then all of a sudden you're starving and you can't like I have food we just went to the store but I'm like I can't be bothered to make anything I don't have like the mental capacity to do it <laughs> so he's going to pick us up something to eat Violet is in the Mamaru she's asleep she had a big day today she's wearing her Batgirl socks she was with Paul all day they went and they were with um, a bunch of Paul's friends so she was very busy. She was very happy, apparently, and um, which is good. So she got to get out and have fun, and I got a lot of work done. So it was just, it was a good day in that aspect. But anyways, right now, I think we're going to eat dinner, and then we're going to watch a movie. Paul wants to watch Mulan. I don't know why. Uh, he's like, I've only seen Mulan a couple of times. And he started singing the Be a Man song with, like, 1 million percent the wrong tune, and I was kind of offended. Not really, but... It was way off and then yeah I think that that's pretty much it for today I just I didn't really vlog because I was so busy recording and filming and it felt good because there's like been times you know where I get caught up with Violet and it's like you don't realize how quickly time goes by when you until you have a kid like suddenly tomorrow's Friday and it's like how how did that even <laughs> happen this week went by so fast but it felt really good so then I'm gonna have to wake up early tomorrow so that I can edit the stuff because I don't think I want to edit anything tonight that is really all that's happening I'm sorry this is just like a quick vlog I just really wanted to update you guys or upload something um and that's it oh yeah that was something else I meant to say I was gonna post this on Facebook so I've been watching Nashville and one of the characters is pregnant and this is driving me nuts. It never would have bothered me before I was pregnant, but now it does. So she's pregnant, and she's supposed to be eight weeks pregnant, and they do an ultrasound. And first of all, they do an ultrasound, like, on her belly, which you can't get an ultrasound on your belly till like, 12 weeks, just in case you didn't know. Like, a baby at eight weeks is, like, this big, so you wouldn't even be able to see it. And they do that, and then they show the baby on the screen, or the fetus on the screen, and it's, like, cute. It's, like, this big. That's, like I said, this big at eight weeks. Eight weeks is like really early. And then I think the next episode, she's supposed to be like 10 weeks pregnant and they do another ultrasound and they show, I swear to God, a like 
when you go to find out it, what the sex is of your baby, the baby's like, I don't remember what the fruit reference is, but it's a pretty big baby, and they show like a 20-week baby on the screen. And I'm sitting there like, I know it's TV, and I know they have to like change it because the reality is never a good thing, but I'm just like, and the thing is, it, I don't know, it just, I'm watching it like, and I know that that's how it is with with a lot of things they sensationalize or they change it for movies and TV and people who actually know what's going on are like, that's not even close to being right. Like I remember when I was in school and that Drumline movie came out and all of my friends that were in band were like, this isn't right and they're not reading the music and blah, 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 blah. like freaking out. So that's how I feel. That was um, irrelevant, but yeah. So I don't really know what else to talk about for today. That's about it for this really quick update. I'll see you later.